Okay, so um, it's a bit of a squeeze on this page, and I know it's quite a small image, but we'll, we'll get by. So this is uh, question number three, and I've just had to put the information here. It was about time ago for a soccer ride, and here we've got a distance time graph. So time along the bottom, we've got distance in kilometers going up the side. Uh, at 3 p.m. we stop for a rest. We can see here there's no distance. Distance didn't increase. Um, how long did he stop? Well, it went from 3 p.m. And then it's exactly, it's a bit difficult to see on this graph, but it went exactly uh, here, which is halfway between the, the 3 and the 4 p.m. So how many minutes did he rest? He rested for 30 minutes. Okay. So part B is ask us how fast Simon was at home at 5 p.m. So at 5 p.m. we can get that line. And again, on your paper, it should be easier to see than here. Uh, if you follow it all the way up, that's to the end of the graph here. So um, he stopped. Well, how far was he at home? Let's go across. He was 20 kilometers away from home. Okay. It says at 5 p.m. he stopped for 30 minutes. Then you cycled home at a steady pace and it took him an hour and 30 to get home. So complete the travel graph. So I'm just going to call up uh, here some little lines to help us. And uh, let's do this and we'll do it in blue. At 5 p.m. we stopped for 30 minutes. So for here, we didn't make any distance for 30 minutes. So from half, from 5 to half 5 there, he's gone nowhere. So it's gone flat. And then it took him an hour and a half to get home. So in the, that, if you cycled at a steady speed, that means the line's going to be straight, like here. So it's going to go straight from here, from half five, which was straight down here. Uh, it's then going to go, that will be half an hour, an hour. So an hour and a half will be exactly at seven o'clock. So then a straight line down here. Okay. And then complete the travel graph. Really straightforward. Just check you got the marks on that.